As I stated to the public when I reapplied for the post of Commissioner of Police, I did this knowing fully well that this new process would be manipulated to ensure a result that one man and one man alone wanted. And he did so regardless of whether it affected the safety and security of citizens, especially at a time when our country has never experienced such bloodshed and fear of crime in our history. I reapplied simply to expose the dictatorship that exists in this country because of a flawed, easily manipulated constitution with one man handpicking a president who then handpicks what is supposed to be an independent body, such as the Police Service Commission. And as such, the outcome was obvious. I reapplied to demonstrate that in a time when a country is going through its darkest hour with 600 plus murders last year and 60 in the first month of this year, this one individual will not place his personal view, anger and emotion aside and listen to the vast majority of the citizens of this country and do what may be better for the country to keep you as citizens safe. This is what is known as democratic dictatorship, showing one individual having full control directly or indirectly of even what are supposed to be independent bodies. And it is disrespectful that politicians believe that they can manipulate a process so badly and not be exposed, believing that the citizens can be so gullible not to see through it. Thankfully, most do. This is why Ola Christopher's role is even more pivotal to our collective future. So I want to encourage the soon to be appointed commissioner to resist being used as a political pawn in anyone's games and to remember her oath in office is to be in service of the people of Trinidad and Tobago and not to be politically manipulated or controlled, even if it costs her the post of commissioner. She should also look to the men and women of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service as resident within the rank and file are some of Trinidad and Tobago's finest. Whilst being cognizant that the process is obviously flawed, we as a nation must now move forward and fully support the soon to be appointed Commissioner of Police. Personally, I am even more encouraged and determined as my new political mission is now fully possible. I have served my nation as a commission officer in the Trinidad Tobago Defense Force, National Security Advisor, Minister of National Security, and Commissioner of Police. Now, help me to help you by having me serve you in government in the next two years, which is why I ask you to stand with me and let us do what is required to remove this government democratically. I assure you, when we are in government, you will once again see the massive turnaround in crime you experienced prior to me demitting office as Commissioner of Police. And your safety and security will be my top priority, as me and the other members of the National Transformation Alliance will do all in our power to truly transform our beautiful but badly ailing nation. I ask you to believe and be prepared to battle politically and democratically.